Oh my gosh, y'all. I think I found the key. I found the key to manifestation. And this is going to go over some of y'all's heads, but I'm going to say it anyway. Let's get to it. Every day and every way, I am creating a life that I love. What's up, creators? Peace and love. My name is Jade, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I am creating a life that I love, and I want to help you do the same thing, okay? On this channel, I give you guys tips and tricks on how to create a life that you love and why you should create a life that you love. And I motivate you to create a life that you love. And if that is something that you're interested in, press the subscribe button below because I have more content coming out very soon. So with that said, let's get into this video. I have found the key. Listen, I found the key. And this is going to go over a lot of people's heads and that's why. That's why. They call this a secret, but it's really not a secret. It's really not a secret. Listen. Earl Nightingale said, you get what you think about most of the time, right? But even beyond that, Jade is saying, Jay Green is saying, you get how you feel. Hmm, how can I phrase this? You get what you think and feel most of the time. So if you are wanting and intending to manifest a great relationship, Oh my gosh, this is literally me right now. If you intend to manifest a great relationship, a new relationship, but you still are holding on to things that happened to you in the past, you're going to be stuck in limbo. You're going to be stuck in single limbo. If you are intending to manifest a new job or a new source of income, but you are constantly and consistently focused on how broke you are. And when you look at how broke you are, you feel how broke you are. And you just, you just gonna stay broke. Listen, you get what you think and you feel. And that's going, uh, I just, I wish I could just like engrave that. Because I feel like our culture nowadays, it, it makes it so that we can honor and acknowledge our negative feelings and so that just grows into this big ball of just negative energy and it's just perpetuated and it's validated and it's just like continuously played and it's just like no like we need to stop that when you feel good you get good when you feel good it's so like it's so much more likely that like the things that you will make and produce and create and manifest will be of good quality. There's no one, no one. You don't, you don't get good stuff by dwelling and feeling bad. I mean, I just thought about pregnancy because like the baby's good, but you have to like, be in pain but I mean I guess to get to that pain you had pleasure that's that's the great area I'll explain more into that in future videos but I just want y'all to know that feeling is the key however you feel and what you think the quality of your thoughts and your feelings are so important in creating your life you cannot create great things by feeling crappy and continuing to feel crappy and dwelling on the crappy circumstances of your life. That's going to go over some of y'all heads. But I'm telling you first and I will explain and I will get more into that in future videos. But I just, listen, feeling is the key. How you feel is the key. Listen, feel good now. Whenever you feel bad, it is your responsibility to make yourself feel better. And I'm not talking about drugs. I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm not talking about like pharmaceutical drugs. Listen, feel good. I'm going to give you guys tips in the next video on ways that you can feel good. Like right now, people call it raising your vibration, but we just, we got to feel good. We want to be feel-good creators, not crappy creators. Anyway, 
I will see y'all in the next video. Peace, y'all.